So we're ready to roll? All right. Well, it looks like we're off to Canmore. And guess who's going to be leading again? Viper 6. They want someone to keep them uh, in control of speed. <laughs> All right. right safe. Always. Yeah. That's new guy, Harsh Hug. There's him, man, and you guys know R1 Chronicles. I already warned him that. Uh, <clears throat> sorry, I saw two cops setting up a speed trap coming here. I'm kind of gonna be driving that way. Hopefully, they were setting down as opposed to setting up road we're taking is uh, hopefully clean. I haven't been on it this year. It's kind of twisty and some nasty spots on it. 70% repaved, so we'll see what it's like. All right. Sorry if I'm giving you guys uh, motion sickness. Checking my spots. Cops, like I suspected. <clears throat> Should I do the biker wave? <laughs> anyway, this is the first test for my mic. I'm not too sure how much wind noise is gonna, it's going to pick up, but Scott point, pointed out two uh, vents that might give me grief, which I might have to adjust. Plus, it doesn't help that it's like extremely windy today. So, anyway, like Scott said, let's ride safe. we're gonna go we could have gone highway one which is Trans Canada Highway that's not very scenic and just high speed we're gonna go uh, the old highway uh, 1A it goes through some nice twisty sections and it's kind of cool you just gotta watch out for some pedestrians once in a while I did mention I had some topics, right? One of them was, you know, like getting a bike. When I was a kid, I used to ride the uh, Can-Am 125. Lots of dirt biking I did, you know, and uh, got the bruises and uh, never broke anything though, but got the bruises and uh, chunks of meat missing to prove it. And my uncle had a Suzuki RV90, which was uh, one of those short, small bikes with super fat tires. That thing was great to just bomb around. And then I kind of got married, gave it up, you know, but was always in the blood. And uh, my ex-wife's cousin bought a uh, 750 Honda Shadow. I think it was a Nighthawk, I'm not sure, 91. And uh, he got a pretty nasty scare on it and decided to sell it. The thing had like 1,600 kilometers on it. It was like barely broken in. So he would give it to me for a thousand bucks. 
So I asked my wife, I said, man, that's a good deal, we should just get it. And being my ex-wife, if it was going to be something that made me happy, there's no way I'm going to get it. So never did. Then got divorced a while later, not because of that, but other reasons. And uh, my new wife, I told her that story a while ago, about seven years ago. And uh, one day, I was like 49, and she says, oh, let's go just to go kill some time and go to Blackfoot and motorsports and just chill. So we went there and uh, she said, pick one for your 50th birthday. Like, man, I freaked. Like, that was like incredible. So from my 50th birthday, she bought me this bike. And then the funny thing is, like, right after she lost her job. <laughs> but we managed. It was all good. And she totally supports me riding, you know. She just wants to make sure I do it safely and come home because uh, she wants me back, right? So, uh, yeah, that was it. That's how I got this bike. And since then, you know, like, I've put on pipes, new seat for her so that she's a little more comfortable because uh, stock stuff is, like, totally gross. Sorry, I gotta make sure the group is here. That was my bad. Changed lane a little too late. So yeah, I told these guys. Let's and that wind. Yeah, see that's the thing about you guys thinking about getting a windscreen. They're really nice. It keeps a lot of wind off of you. But when you get a super huge one, like I have, it's like, man, when you get a good crosswind, it inputs right into your steering. So you gotta be like twice as vigilant. And then when you're, when you're passing uh, trucks, you gotta be careful because the, the wind dies down. And then as you pass it, it throws you about. And I don't know if you guys heard that, but I just scraped my uh, floorboard on that curve. Yeah, I do that once in a while. Not too often. Because luckily these bend up. If it wouldn't bend up, yeah, you could be in a heap of trouble. <clears throat> Let's bring it down to 60 over here, because wherever there's construction, you guys, I don't know if it's the same where you guys are, but uh, fines double. So it's not fun. But I already did pick up one ticket on this bike. It was kind of funny though, because my wife is in the back. It was close to where those two cops were before. Once in a while they park a van there. I totally missed it. But it's a cheesy ticket because I passed the 80 click zone and I see the 100 kilometers, so I start accelerating. And they put a van right before it and he clocked me at 92 with photo radar. So I get this picture in the mail of me riding my bike with my wife in the back with the speed I was doing. <laughs> what can you do? It is what it is. Somebody's got to uh, support our government. Everybody's here. It's all good. Yeah, see, these twisty roads have me a little concerned today because of uh, the side gusts. I'll just have to take it slower and the guys with their crotch rockets behind will have to be patient. going to be the rev limiter. <laughs> yeah, if ever you ride in Alberta or drive in Alberta, you got to be careful of cars parked on the side because that's usually photo radar. Anyway, I'll sign out for now. Over to you.